we were doing the medical missions in the 7,100 islands, our number one problem was topography. So we had to go through a lot of uh, bodies of water, mountains, and this is quite a distance that is a challenge, most especially to the persons with disabilities. So we had to think of a way we're in we will be able to reach out to the amputees without uh, thinking of uh, problems of logistics, transportation. Of course, if he's an amputee, somebody has to go with her, and that's additional cost. So aside from the, the problems with transportation, we also have the problems of cost, the problems of companion. So we were quite... Um, having problems in terms of the number of amputees who are able to come to a mission site. And we had to think of a way by which we would be able to reach out to them and still be able to evaluate them objectively without us being there physically present. We were uh, racking our brains thinking of how we could bring down the cost, how we could uh, make the service accessible, and how we could provide appropriate prosthesis. And it, and it occurred to us that the Philippines is actually the number one, uh, set, the number one center for text messaging. So we said probably uh, we could try making use of this technology. So we approached uh, Smart Communications and we presented to them the proposal uh, in terms of delivering healthcare to persons with disabilities and the kind of service that it will provide in terms of transforming their lives. So Smart Communications in turn introduced us to the Ateneo Java Wireless Competency Group who developed the uh, program. During the missions, what we do is we have a, a paper that we use where we have the data and then we fill it in as a step one. And then after filling in the data as a step one, the patient, the amputee will now go to our, a certain area of the mission site and uh, a photo of him will be taken, that's step two. And then after the photo is taken, the amputee will come to me, step three, and I will write whether he's ready for prosthetic measurement or will need rehabilitation or refer for surgical intervention. So these are, these are four steps that, need, that they need to go through. However, when we started using the cell phone, everything was reduced to just two steps. How does uh, this, this particular uh, application you, uh, ascent help? Because if you can use your mobile phone uh, to, to, to generate patient profiles, hindi na kailangan yung pasyente pumunta sa clinic. A health worker can go out sa barangay, in the field, collect the information. Anong information niya? Una-una, of course, you get this patient personal information, pangalan niya, age, and other, and other ano, addresses and other information that will describe the, the patient. Number two, get a photograph, particularly of that part of the patient's uh, uh, body that would be in need of prosthetics. It could be a leg, pwede rin siya isang arm, okay? Take photos of that, and then, the information, personal information combined with the uh, photographs, these information together can be sent over the air, remotely, directly into the database. The database will automatically organize the information and put them together into files.
workers are actually very happy with the scent because um, it is very simple, it is very user friendly, and uh, they are not afraid to uh, or they are not intimidated to use it. The doctors, on the other hand, are also um, very uh, enthusiastic about the application because the only place in the entire Philippines where prosthesis could be fabricated the way a scent does it's, it's basically within Metro Manila. So our doctors in Visayas, our doctors in Mindanao are able now to refer to us directly without uh, hesitating or being afraid that they would input to, or they would send to us the wrong data because we are always here to check and tell them to give us more information or clarify things very easily through the cell phone. Pero ang pinaka talagang masaya dito ay ang mga amputees. Now they don't have to travel all the way from Bukidnon or from Indoor or from Palawan because uh, they could just send their data via the cell phone so it cuts down on their cost. Number two, the cost is not only transportation, but the cost of the prosthesis itself is also decreased. And the mere fact that they are able to get an appropriate, an affordable, and an accessible prosthesis and then return to work for some, start a business on their own for the other, or children are able to go to school, ang laki-laki ng impact nito in terms of their self-worth, their body image. Aside from Ascent being able to make prosthesis available, affordable, and accessible to the amputees. I would say one of the best uh, contribution of Ascent for the amputees is the database that it was able to produce. It is sad to say that up until now, we don't have a true registry or a true number of how many amputees there are in the country. And um, because of Ascent, we were able to produce a database and because we have a database that we presented to the Philippine Health Insurance Commission as Field Health, we were able to convince Field Health to reimburse prosthesis. Starting June 2013, Field Health will now pay 15,000 pesos for every prosthesis of an amputee. And I would say that is one thing that Ascent has done to help our amputees. And because of um, this is ascent via the cell phone, they are readily able to refer uh, amputees to us. Sometimes it's even more than the problem of the amputee. Other problems, they utilize the cell phone for referring to us. So they're very happy because it's very grassroots. It's very applicable to the community.